So what are y'all doing today? <laughs> Saturday. Today is uh, September 11th. There's a lot of a lot of things I've been seeing posted about that. And today, the 20th anniversary of uh, September 11th. You know they say uh, say time heals, and I think for the most part, time does heal things. You know, breaks, cuts. You know, different things like that mother nature you know destructive hurricane heals you know things like my thumb time just take some time for it to heal but you know on the flip side of it um you know events like september 11th i'm not sure time ever heals that especially for the the people directly involved family members and just the whole world in general and what gets me about it is is there's people people that just hate people you know and when you're when you're involved with social media like this right here uh youtube uh, you know before youtube you just had you know like different movie stars or professional athletes things like that and they they had their or then they still do have their haters and through the YouTube stuff, each one of us, it doesn't matter how big a channel you got or how small a channel you got starting out, you automatically have people who hate you for whatever reason. And it just, it gets me the program in there in people's minds that um, that hate people at the level that, that some do all the way up to willing to uh, play out an event like 9-11 and just want to kill mass multitudes of people. Uh, not programmed like that at all, man. Not, not nowhere at all. So I've told this story before, and I'll tell it again. Um, you know, everybody remembers where they were. Uh, probably a lot of people watching this may not even been born yet. And But uh, that day we were, we happened to be logging up here in a place called Becker Bottoms. It's up in Monroe County, the county that joins us to the north right here. We cut up here all the time. Matter of fact, we're cutting up here right now. We're actually on the other side of the river from where Becker Bottoms is. Uh, Becker Bottoms is a flat bottom there uh, between uh, going up toward Amory, Mississippi. But we were cutting a warehouse track back in there and uh, working on it in Prior to that, uh, there in the, just up here in Caledonia, we had about, I guess probably about two years prior to that, we had a murder up there. And so the trial was coming up for that murder. And uh, I happened to be one of the people picked for the dang jury selection of all things for that, for that murder trial coming up. So I'd been up there on that Monday. Uh, it was a bunch of us you know for the jury selection and i was there all day long at monday normal day and then that tuesday september the 11th i remember being up there and and uh some people started talking about some planes had just hit the uh buildings in new york city you know and then there shortly then later on we heard about some more and everything so nobody knew what was going on but the bad thing about the jury selection was was that tuesday that monday they told us when we when we left there that that monday afternoon and we we're still in the selection process they told everybody that was coming back they said look bring your bags with you because this is going to be a sequestered jury and uh you know and you leave your bags down with the bailiff down there and if you get picked uh they'll send somebody down there to get your bag and then whoever's on the jury they're gonna put you in a hotel and there you'll be till the trial gets over with and i thought you know there was one thing that had to do do that and and then there's a completely other thing with everything that was going on with uh the planes in the building because a lot of people didn't or nobody really knew exactly what was going on at the time we just knew something bad was was going on and just some crazy crazy things that kind of you know unfolded as, as time went on and and just uh a lot of uh 
just a lot of in, innocent people that um you know is just just completely uncalled for so anyhow um fast forward today you know 20 years later a lot of things changed matter of fact jill and i wasn't even living right here where we're at now we we were getting about ready to do something and that was in 2001 the very next year in 2002 we bought this piece of property right here and built this house in 02 and have been living here ever ever since then but uh i have uh in 2017 i have had the opportunity jill and nana kate and emma and i we all went up to uh we flew up to new york city we've got several videos there on on youtube of it and we went up there and visited uh the sites up there and went through the museum and boy that's a surreal experience if you've never done that or been up there and visited that area up there i highly encourage you to do that it's uh it's very sombering you don't hear many people talking not much noise walking through the museum it's just all quiet because that's a real deal and it goes back like i said here even on youtube i have people who who hate me i see other people youtubers um who folks hate them and that's the I'll, I'll never I'll never understand that the hate that a fellow man has for another fellow man uh, we're put here on this earth and so it's to love one another but it's, unfortunately that's not the way that it works but uh so I'm gonna put something else up in in today and and I just didn't just gonna do this video talking some people like the talking videos some people don't and uh, and that's perfectly fine that's the reason why there's plenty of channels out there but uh here's the current situation on my thumb right there and you can see it it looks pretty good it's healing um it hadn't been too bad uh last night for whatever reason i hadn't i hadn't taken any um any Percocet or anything like that since about two days ago. But last night, boy, that thing got too thumping. What you talking about? So, I don't know if it was healing or what it was doing. You know how sometimes when you get get a cut or get injured or something, it gets to itching. It didn't get to itching. It got a thumping. <laughs> so, oh, goodness. But uh, maybe time maybe time to heal it i'll be back there you just have these things every now and then in your life that you just kind of have to just kind of just kind of have to lay back and let them run the course you know i remember back in 2013 i had neck surgery and i was down for uh eight weeks it was a tough time for me when you're a very active person to to be still and not do anything and listen to what the doctors say it's uh it's it's not a very good time so Y'all be good. Fix and leave here in a few minutes. Uh, Jill's mama's birthday is today of all days, too. Uh, she's 74 today. Thank goodness she's still with us. Doing pretty good. And uh, we're going to ride over there here in just a minute and kind of hang out with her. We got some stuff for for her and everything. So I may do, I may film a little bit while we're over there. I, I'm not sure. But uh, y'all be good. Remember everybody that... Uh, lost her lives lost loved ones on uh, september 11 2001 and hope nothing like it ever 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 happens again nowhere on this planet uh, so later taters